Now let's go up to speed part 2. For speed, I've talked about just now, we talk about speed can be calculated by formula, by displacement and speed time graph. Now, then I went on to uh, show you some examples. For speed, the formula here, I've shown you one, actually there's a second one. Okay, but this involves acceleration. So that's why I put this slide after the acceleration. Okay, example, what's the formula here? Okay. We talk about, for part C, we talk about formula using acceleration. Okay, now, so the formula as you have seen just now, it is A equals to V minus U over T. So an example of a question, a typical question may go like this. So example, an object moved from rest Okay, um, with an acceleration of 3 meters per second, a 3 meters per second square. Find the speed at 10 seconds. Okay, now there are some important keywords you must see here. Okay, they say rest. So if they said it is rest, which means that from rest means that u equals to zero meters per second at the start. Okay, per second at the start. Then I know that my acceleration, okay, this is acceleration, is three meters per second square. And the last one they ask you to find the speed. So the time taken, okay, time taken is ten seconds. So this is your t. So, to look at this, find the speed at 10 seconds, what we are trying to find is, in this case here for this one, the speed at 10 seconds, you are actually trying to find V. We are trying to find V. So, let's substitute in. We got 3 is equals to V minus 0 over 10. So, doing some algebraic manipulation, V equals to 30 meters per second. Okay, this is very simple here. However, things can get more complicated. This one we started from rest. Sometimes we might say that an object okay, was moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. Okay, 10 meters per second. It then accelerate at 2 meters per second square for 4 seconds. Find the final speed. Okay, so how do we go about doing the questions? Let's underline all the keywords here. So we'll say it was moving at a speed of 10 meters per second. So this must be the initial speed. So in this case here, this will be the U, the initial speed. And they say it then accelerate at 2 meters per second square. Another giveaway, this one it must be the A, acceleration. How long did, did the time take? Okay, we got 4 seconds over here. Okay, this is the T. So how to find the final speed? Same thing, substitute your value here. Okay, your formula is A equals to A equals to V minus U over T. So A, we know that is 2. V is the one that we want to find. U is 10 at the start. And then how long was the time taken? 4. So you do some manip algebraic manipulation. So 8 equals to V minus 10. And after that, V is equals to 18 meters per second. Okay, so this is how you can go about answering speed using formula. So we talked about displacement, acceleration, we talk about all the three things here, displacement, distance, speed, velocity, and acceleration. These are normally the ways how you would go about tackling questions okay, with regards to kinematics. Okay, so this marks the end of the answering techniques.